very good afternoon to you. Yes, you're very welcome to Navis Park Tarleton for this Senior Hurling Championship Final. A championship final that brings together Klein and Trim. History making today for both clubs. Both clubs have never met in a Senior Hurling Final. I have been in both dressing rooms and both teams play as selected in the programme. Klein, well, they last won it in at the three in a row back in 79, 80, 81. They lost in the one again in 84. They lost to Amahan in 85. And they hope today, well, after a seven year elapse, to win the Jubilee Cup. Trim, on the other hand, well, they bridged a 27 year gap in 1987 when they won the cup for the first time. As I say, bridging a gap of, 90, of 27 years. They won the three in a row, 87, 88, and 89. And they're here today. They, uh, they would have been playing in the fifth final in a row, but last year, Kaldaki got them on the hop in the semi final, but they're back again this year. At the start of this campaign, Many well uh, were going for Kilmesson, but Kalein and Trim were the surprise pacemakers. Kalein and Trim, well, of course, they clashed earlier on in the championship, and on that occasion, thanks to the good goalkeeping of Paddy Quinn, Kalein were victories on that occasion, but there was only a late, late goal. So today, as the College Town band here plays behind us, we'll take a short break, but don't go away. We'll be back. We'll be back now for the start of the match, and as I say, we'll head up towards the stand. We hope that in the next hour or so you will enjoy a an, an, an most entertaining hours of hurling and let's hope well as I say the conditions here I am down on the pitch the pitch is in very good condition there's little or no rain the wind is very light so I wouldn't say quite a large crowd as of last year all tucked under the stand so we'll take a short break and we'll be right back <laughs> Uh, the weather conditions, it's uh, fairly dry, a bit of wind and the pitch in very good condition. Uh, the pitch is very good, very good and it's a bit windy but I don't think it will interfere with, with either of them, you know. No. Way back in June, Klein, on that day, bet you by two points, a different game today, completely different ball game. Oh, well, a final is always a different ball game, you can never uh, uh, say who's going to win a final because teams are after preparing for two weeks, three weeks, they're fit, they're a lot fitter than they were in the fourth round of the championship. And, you can never say on, on the day of a final, you know, yeah. it's the team that prepares the best and win the, the final. You win the trim dressing room, there are no changes, playing as selected. Playing as selected on the programme, there indeed, yeah. 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 Lovely, Sean, nice talk to you, best of luck, we hope to be talking to you after the game. Sean Coughlin, is, uh, Sean Colgan, the chairman of the Mead Hurling Board, thank you, Shay. Brendan, how do you see the game, Brendan? How do I see it? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I just hope it's a very good game, I hope it's very enjoyable and a good game of hurling. Conditions are pretty well, as good as you can get at this time of the year for it anyway. So I think all we ho can hope for is a good sporting game for the for the crowd, you know. Who would you give the vote to today? What's your choice? <laughs> I, if I seek in regard for Killine, I think you just might pull it off today. You wouldn't be surprised, but you wouldn't put a, a draw off the cards? Well, the last time they played here in Park Talton was at the opening of the ground here in 1988 in June. And it was a draw match that day in the first round of the championship. So I know it's a good while ago, but it, it, I'd say it'll be a close enough game. It could be a draw, yeah. Trim the, trim the heavier team on the day, Killine, the conditions will suit the light Killine team. Uh, well, it's it, it's a good day for Hurland, you know, it, it's, it's, I don't think the conditions are going to affect it one way or the other, you know, and uh, I think the best team is going to win it, and uh, let's hope it is the best team that wins it. So on the pitch, Brendan, it is in good, very good condition. Thanks very, thanks very much, Brendan. Yeah, right, you're welcome. Fienian, how was the form, Fienian? Well, good to see you here, ex-chairman of the Hurland Board. How would you see the game, Fienian? Well, as Brendan said, I hope it's going to be a good close game. I think it will. Uh, Kalina are back in the final now after a good number of years. They're never easily beaten in the final. I, if I were to put my money, I'd say I'd have my shilling on Kalina today. They're, they're very good when it goes to a final. This pitch, I think, will suit Trim, but uh, uh, I hope it's a good game, Charlie. I know, the, the wind, I was just seeing, uh, Fienian, the wind is going cross field. How do you think that'll go? Well, the, the, the wind, looking at it in the football game, of course, the two different games altogether. 
and uh, I, 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 I think the wind won't have all that much bearing on it at all. You would think there won't be too much in, too much in it in the finish, Vinian? There will not be too much in it in the finish. I think if there's a point or two, it'll be as much as, as there's going to be in a chance. Vinian Ingsby, thank you very much. Nice talk, Joe. Thanks, Charlie. Pleasure. The selection of the Killian team. Kit Mitchell there too is also a selector, the great kid. Also too there is JJ Carney, the selectors of the Kalyan Holland team. And we are took at the Kalyan team as the pose for the pre-match photographs in the Senior Hurling Championship of 1991. Klein posing for the photographs as Shea goes towards the back row, Shea from left to right, the back row, Billy Dixon's there, and Paddy Quinn, uh, Camilla Spork, Billy Dixon, the name of the team, Paddy Ayres, number five, Sean Cunningham, Thomas Dignan, D uh, Aidan Dignan, centre of the field will be Mick Ryan and Joe Cunningham, the half forward line will be Mark Gannon and Ender Tyrrell and Seamus Dignan, the full forward line, Lars Hill, full forward Jimmy Connolly and 15, Pat Gannon, that completes the collapse team and Klein are playing in green and red green and red as they pose for the prima best of luck to Paddy Paddy Quinn the team captain as I say no rain so far the pre-match photograph the front row from left to right we look at Kit and and Martin Dempsey there Alan Smith all in the front row Martin Kelly the back row uh, uh, John Andrews Jerry uh, Keith McAvoy, the great Frank McCann, the long serving Frank, CJ Mortar, Kevin and Declan Murray, uh, Don Massey, and that, uh, that's a look of the, uh, the trim team and trim playing in red and white. The trim captain, Martin Dempsey, going up for the toss, and Paddy Quinn, the funny thing, both back, way back in 1781, when Martin won the medals with Killian. Paddy Quinn was on that team too, so. The referee for today is Ollie O'Neill, Ollie from the uh, Dunchocklin Club. He already refereed the Intermediate Hurling Final in this year. Paddy Quinn, as I say, the Kaline captain. And Martin exp uh, exchanging the best wishes as the wind comes down, little or no rain. The referee for today is Ollie O'Neill of Dunchocklin. And there goes the toss for the, uh, the Ma Martin Martin Dempsey, the red Dempsey won the toss and they've decided to switch ends. They're going to play down towards the hospital end. Back here under the stand, we're going to take a look now as both teams go around the parade in Navis Park, Tarleton. As I say, Trim playing in the red and white, uh, Kalyan in the green and red, and Shea might get a look at the, as both teams as they go around the field. The Castletown band bring them over to the far side. They'll be swinging around now to the left. As I say, a slight breeze, won't be a cross field breeze, little or no rain. And they're quite a large crowd here for this on this cold November afternoon. As Klein, well, as I say, the last one of the 84, they're hoping to bridge that gap. Trim, well, they won it uh, 87, 88, and 89, the three in a row. It gives me a chance now to give you the trim team in goals. The trim team in goals, Kit O'Donnell. Number two, the Galway man, Pat Kelly. Full back, number three, Frank McCann. Number four, Matty Kelly. Number five, Paul Dunn. Centre half back, CJ Morta. Number seven, left half back, Keith McAvoy. Number eight, Dennis O'Keefe. Number nine, Alan Smith. The half forward line, right half forward, Benny Murray. Number 11, Loman Dempsey. Left half forward, Eunan McCaffrey. The full forward line, right corner forward, Martin Murray. Full forward, John Andrews. And the team captain, number 15, Martin Dempsey. That completes the trim line out. I will give you the line, the line, give, line out now. In goes their team captain. Captain uh, uh, Paddy Quinn, uh, cornerback Camilla Spork, number three, the fullback Billy Dixon, number four, Paddy Ayres, five, right halfback Sean Cunningham, number six, Tomas Dignan, left halfback his brother Aidan Dignan, middle of the field, number eight, Michael Ryan, and he's parted under by Joe Cunningham, the right half forward, ten, Mark Gannon, centre half forward, Enda Tyrrell, a left half forward, Seamus Dignan. The full forward line, the full forward line, Lar Turl. Uh, number 14, Jimmy Connolly, and number 15, Shea, Pat Gannon. And now, as you, Shea gets back to us here, we have a chat with PJ, PJ Cunningham. If PJ just comes down to us, can guess there, Shea. PJ, uh, PJ's joining us in the programme. How do you see the game, PJ? Well, I see the, uh, a very close game. 
Charlie and I think like, I mean, whoever gets the breaks are going to win this match and I think a lot are going to hang on whether we have the pole at centre field or not. Uh, how do you see the conditions, PJ? I think that the conditions, are, from a ground point of view, are, are excellent. The wind, I suppose, will have a bearing on, on, on the matches. Yeah. But out from that, the conditions would be, be ideal, particularly that the game has run so late in the season. Would you find Killeen a bit on the light side with the heavy pitch? I don't think so. I think Killeen will be fast, and I think Killeen are very skillful hurlers. Lovely PJ. Well, we hope to be talking to. As I say, it's nice to have PJ. He's going to be with me through the uh, through the match, and he's going to be very helpful. So it's good to have PJ joining joining us here in the Sunday game team. So thanks, PJ, for joining us. And we'll be talking to you later on in the game. Uh, silence for Paddy O, who died in trim during the week. And now we all stand for our national anthem as the breeze blows from left to right. Okay. In the 40s, he, at the age of 43, he passed away during the week. A minute, minute silence for Paddy Orr. The senior hurling final gets underway. As I say, Trim won the toss. Martin Dempsey won the toss. Decided to play well. Well, the, as I say, the breeze not favouring really anybody. The cross wind breeze. And as I say, Jack Jarrett there, the great Kildare hurler back in the 1930s, uh, throws on the ball. Jack. And now Michael Ryan midfield. Michael Ryan and Joe Cunningham for Kalain and centre field for Trim. Dennis O'Keefe and Alan Smith now. And referee Ali O'Neill throws in the ball and the senior hurling final is on. Alan Smith now up towards Cunningham, up up towards Tyrrell, up towards Tyrrell. Kalain in towards, trying to get it in towards. It's well taken there by uh, Mark Gannon. Mark Gannon in towards the goals, has it on his stick. Very high, is it the first score of the game? It's gone over the bar. It's gone over the bar now. Kalain, I make it after about 20, 30 seconds of the game. Mark Gannon now collected a lovely ball from Joe Cunningham, went on a bit of a solo run and sent it over the bar and Kalain lead by one pint, Kid O'Donnell with the ball, the far side of the field, down up towards, very up towards, uh, Michael Ryan is over there too, uh, Michael Ryan still with the ball, Michael very close to the sideline, but Dennis O'Keefe is there now for trim, Dennis bottled up now, still with Dennis O'Keefe, a short pass out to the centre half to CJ Morty, CJ loses it, the ball in statement in the centre of the field, Michael Ryan again now, over us now to Mark Gannon. Mark Gannon, first time pulling out. Kalain getting into it early now. But back come Trim towards Joe Cunningham. Out towards uh, Michael Ryan is there again. It uh, comes to uh, comes to Joe Cunningham and don't come up for Joe. Waiting there all alone. All alone for Kalain is the centre half back. Thomas Dignan. Thomas Dignan trying to get up to his brother, but back there is CJ Morta to Mark Gannon. Mark Gannon getting early. A high one in towards the goal now. Kit O'Donnell watches it. Kid watches it goes over the end line and wide. The score in this senior hurling final of 1991, after about a minute and a half of play, Klein one point, trim no score. As I say, very dark here in Avon, but no rain, and the pitch well in very good condition. Kit now very high towards the far side, dropping between Ryan and Cunningham. But out to help out too is uh, Loman Dempsey. Loman Dempsey also to his only McCaffrey, but trim win themselves a line ball. Far side of the field, Noli Coslo there, the linesman, the, the official there. Noli well known for Kildarki. 
Alan Smith going out to take the line ball for Trim. Remind you, Trim playing in red and white. Klein in the green and red cuffs. And Alan now, very high, a great cut, very high. But too much to the right and wide. I think Trim, uh, slight breeze, whatever it is, going down towards the hospital end. Paddy Quinn, the team captain, the little man Paddy, very high. Very high, all over the lawn. Michael Ryan, well held by Michael. Bit of this, a bit of that for Michael. Kalai in the early pacemakers. In towards the Jimmy Connolly. In towards the big man Jimmy. Knocks it down, comes out to pack air. Is it very high? And it's gone over the bar. It's gone over the bar from Pat Gannon and Kalai. Two lovely scores there. Pat Gannon. Mark got the first score, and that's brother Pat, number 15, getting the second point, and it's Kalein, two points, trim no score, Kalein, the early pacemakers now, kit very high, very high, in towards the centre of the field, out to help his uh, Norman Dempsey, but Kalein, the half forward line to Seamus digging the hand pass, it gives it out to, uh, very hard to see, to the centre half forward to end the tier, uh, but trim it back there, out to the great veteran Frank McCann, Frank McCann, but Kalein pressing in towards the goals, out to help to is uh, Ender Tyrrell, very close to the end line. Still with Ender Tyrrell, sends it across the goal now. The ball coming out there to CJ Morta. But uh, free there for Chopper, the free to Kalayan. As I say, Kalayan won the, the last time they won the senior was 1984. Of course, they won that great three in a row after a 60 year gap when they won it in 79, 18, 81, the free taker. Mark Gannon. Mark Gannon. Pat Gannon. Pat Gannon. The second point of the match. Pat from a free about 40 metres out and sends it over the bar. Kalayan in the first five minutes while stretching the, meet, the trim defence. Kid O'Donnell now once again trying to get the trim going down towards Martin Dempsey. Norman Dempsey on those here to stand out towards uh, Sean Cunningham. Sean, Sean with the ball. A great clearance by Sean, but it doesn't go where he intended to. Line ball to Trim. Trim the trail by three points. Klein three. Trim no score. Styler McDonough, Michael McDonough, the linesman on this side, understand the great Styler from that boy. As Alan Smith now takes this, Alan very good with a, a lovely long puck, trying to give it into the Mark Dempsey, but taken away lovely by uh, Dickens. Out to Michael Ryan, little Michael Ryan, the left to strike, stretching the, the well held, a great catch, a great catch by his head and towards the goals. Gannon, a great save by Kidder Gannon. A great save by Kidder Gannon. Brilliant save. And that was let off for Trim. But back in the play, Kalein pressing. In towards the goals, Trim under severe pressure now as Martin Kelly tries to get the ball out. A great save by Kidder Gannon from Pat Gannon. A great save and certainly a goal at that stage. Kid was on the ball and knocked it out. But back come Kalein with a, a line ball. I see Kit Mitchell and JJ Carney down there giving the instruction to Pat Simulai, the Kalein selectors as Pat takes it very high across the goal now. Backs and forwards watching it. It's not going over the end line. But Tracing for Trim is uh, Paul Dunn. Paul Dunn on his succeeds and sending it over the a line ball to Kalein. I make it six minutes gone in the first half. Michael Ryan with the line ball. Not so good for Michael, but succeeds still in getting into the Kalein man. Sends it very high in towards McCann. Up goes the veteran Frank. So Frank still there. So too to help out is Dennis O'Keefe. Trim in all sorts of trouble now as Kalein makes siege in the trim goals. The ball is in stable, just won't come up. Out to help too is Pat Kelly, the man from Gala who joined Trim this year. The ball just very close to the sideline, but Kalein back to Pat Gannon in towards the goal, across the goal, now a chat, Jimmy Conley, Jimmy has it, blocked down. Kalein go for goal, Jimmy Conley, a great defensive work by Trim, away come Trim now, CJ Murta, a hand pass out to the centre half, CJ, CJ way, way down, down towards, uh, down towards uh, Martin Dempsey, but he misses it to uh, McCaffrey, uh, very close to the sideline, down he goes for it now, the full, down goes, uh, John Andrews, John Andrews, a hand pass, well taken by Billy Dixon. Billy bottled up by Mark Dempsey. Billy's bottled up, loses the ball. Trevor Andrews there, Billy's there, the great whole stage of Billy. Trevor Andrews and Paddy Ayres there too. Mark Dempsey, hard pulling the ball, won't come up. Hard pulling, the far side of the field. Michael Lyon, Michael 
goes out for it, uh, taken away from him by Dennis O'Keefe. Michael goes back for it. Michael, uh, Michael bottled up and right puck up towards the end of the and Seamus Dignan. Kalein playing very fluent hurling to Pat Gannon. Pat Gannon, Mark is there to help. Pat gets it up, has to look up, see what's in front of him. The ball just won't come up. Three men there, three men. So too is Alan Smith. But the ball comes out to Michael. Michael Ryan seems to have loads of room in midfield. Has to look up, he has the ball on the stick. A hand pass to his right, doesn't go, it does. Another Kalein man there to Joe. Joe, Joe Cunningham battle up. Joe still going, misses the ball, Joe. He's hooked, He's hooked by uh, Benny Murray. Trim in trouble, but they're hanging on back towards, but back to help out to his Sean, Sean, the brother Joe's, Sean, way, 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 Killian on the attack, Trim got it away. Mark Allen's there too, knocked away from him. Back towards the Alan Smith, Alan Smith, this, this, and that. Alan Smith, away, long puck down to the full forward line to John Andrews and Mark Dempsey. Billy Dixon's there too. Out comes, uh, back to help out to his Billy. But out to uh, Mark Dempsey, the red, the team captain, going for his eighth medal. Still with Mark Dempsey. A great score from Martin, sends it over the bar. Narrowed the gap. Lovely score there from Martin Dem Dempsey after good work from midfield by Alan Smith. And Martin, the team captain, narrows the gap. Reminds you of the score. Kalein, three points. Trim, one. Little between the sides. Paddy Quinn, uh, very high, very high. The clash of the ash. Well, Michael Ryan is there, so too is Alan Smith. Back, uh, Trim coming into it now. Lowman Dempsey, Lowman has it on his stick. Trim waking it up now, heading in towards the goal. Being chased by the Dickens. Still with Lowman Dempsey. Still with a hand pass, but taken away lovely by Sean Cunningham. Out comes the guy, Paddy. Paddy Quinn. Paddy misses it. Goes back, danger. Being chased by two Trim men. Makes it, gets the second time right. Far side if he throws Michael Ryan. So too is Dennis O'Keefe. A great catch by Michael Ryan. Michael looks up a long, long, very high, very high down towards the full forward. Jimmy Conley. And Frank McCann to catch it. McCann gets the better of it, but clears the danger. A very fast moving game. I make it eight minutes gone. Eight minutes gone in the game. Kalein three, trim one. Kalein, as I say, in the driving seat. They lead three points to one. Pat Gannon once again, the score of two points already. A great tussle there between Jimmy Connolly and Derry Touch. Kit, Kit has it. Well held by Kit. Wins himself a free. Klein in this, Klein player in the small square. Joe, uh, PJ, how do you see the first ten minutes? I see. Uh, Klein seems to have to have the edge at the moment, and uh, I think like I mean that. Uh, Trim are under a lot of pressure at the back, but the backs are holding out well. Pa Pat Kelly now in towards the centre of the field. Sean Ryan making makes the room. Out to help with CJ Mortar. CJ succeeds in getting it to but Trim on the tap. Well read by uh, Sean. Sean Cunningham has it. Banded around the head. Still with Sean. Towards the centre of the field. Some are well pulled by Gannon. Up towards. Klein seemed to have the edge of the midfield, midfield towards uh, Seamus Dignan. Seamus Dignan now switching wings. Lovely, classy hurling by Klein. But to read it very well is Pat Kelly. Pat Kelly bottled up by two Klein men. Tries to get out to the great veteran Frank McCann. Frank, winner of three all the medals. Three medals so far. Won't come up for Frank. Klein, but away come Trim by Paul Dunn. Paul Dunn down towards the Alan Smith and Dennis O'Keefe. A line ball to Klein. As I say, quite a large crowd here for this senior hurling final. A most entertaining first 10 minutes in this half. As I say, Klein, the shot over three points in the first five minutes, but now with Martin Dempsey scored a point a few moments ago, and, well, a great save by Kid O'Donnell keeps trimming the match. Could be a lot worse. Lion ball. Far side of the field, up towards Jimmy Connolly. Jimmy's pushing the back, no. Play on, out to help is Dennis O'Keefe. Dennis O'Keefe. Out towards uh, end the tier, back to help out too. It's robbed, he's robbed by Pat Gannon. Pat Gannon, Pat, very high across the goal mode. Kid O'Donnell watches it. Kid loses it. Danger here. Take, taken away by Martin Kelly. Jimmy Connolly. Frank McCann is there too. The ball just won't come up. The referee decides to throw it in. Kid very lucky on that occasion. Lost the ball, but I think it's a free out to, a free out to Trim. No, is it? No, throw in between Jimmy Connolly and Frank McCann. A great tussle between these two uh, long-serving members. 
and get it well taken away by Keith McAvoy. Keith McAvoy down, only down towards there. <coughs> and a great clear this by the number seven, uh, Aiden Dignan. Aiden Dignan in towards the goal. Bah! But away come Keith McAvoy. The ball very close to the end line, back out to help is Martin Kelly. Martin Kelly left the strike, doesn't go where he intended it. Comes to uh, entertain it across the goal mark. Frank McCann is there, but uh, Conley has it, Jimmy has it. Across the goal, another chance here. Can I queuing up? A chance. It's gone, it's gone over the end line of the wide. Trim, very lucky there, PJ. Trim, Trim came off very lucky there. They were under a lot of pressure there, but, but as I said before, the backs are, are still holding out very well. Very worrying times for the Trim selectors, Ted Morton and Hardy O'Connor down there, and Aidan Redmond. Trim in all sorts of trouble, but the only, luckily enough, the only trade by two points. Kid O'Donnell, centre the field there, up goes Dignan, but away comes uh, Trim, the Trim man, L loses the ball, out towards uh, Lowen Dempsey. And a well taken by uh, the centre half back, Tomas Dignan, the hand pass out to Joe Conning. Joe doesn't go to where he exceeded it with Michael Ryan. Michael Ryan having a great game in midfield for Kalayan. But out to help out for Trim is Keith McAvoy. Keith McAvoy switches wings, but there's nobody out there. A lion ball. A lion ball to Kalayan. Michael Ryan. No, he decides to leave it to Aidan Dignan. Two brothers there, Thomas, centre half back, and Aiden, the two brothers. In fact, there's three Degnans on, on the Kaline team. Of course, Jimmy was on that three in their own 79, 1881, the father. Three sons playing today. Great tradition in the family now. Very close to the sideline. Very close. Referee will throw it up, Ali O'Neill. At the crowd, the far side of the field, hushed up over there. Luckily enough, the rain, the rain has kept off. I make it about uh, 12 minutes gone in the first half. Away come Trim now, football style out to uh, Una McCaffrey, very high from Una McCaffrey, it's very high, Paddy Quinn watches it, Billy Dixon watches it, but the umpire signals wide, Martin Murray was up there, two, two, brother, two Murray brothers on the Trim team, Ben playing right half forward, and Martin, three on the panel, the sub there is Declan, and Kevin, four brothers on the Trim team, Kevin home from Australia, Meanwhile, Paddy Quinn, the little man for Kalyan. Paddy has a great season so far with Kalyan. Well, hell, a great bit of feeling by the centre half. Thomas Dignan, very high into the goal. Up to go for it. A great bit of feeling by the Trim man. A great bit of feeling by the number two, Pat Kelly. The goal man, but loses it. Free in, loses it. A, a foul. A foul on Jimmy Connolly. Sorry. A free in. A free to Kalyan, a great catch by Pat Kelly, who came into the trim side, he's from Galway, but lost the ball, and then Pat Gannon uh, edges Kalyan four down in front. Kalyan four points, trim one point. So far, trim, uh, Kalyan the better, better on the day so far. As I say, little or no breeze. The puck out taken by Pat Kelly. Pat Kelly, far side of the field, in towards the centre of the field, towards Dennis O'Keefe and Alan Smith. But Kalein seem to be the fitter team. Trim, they just can't get into it as Kalein going to attack well. Talk by Mark Gannon. Out towards the brother Pat. Pat looks up. Very high from Pat. It's gone to the right and wide. But the Gannons, the, foot, the forward line, Mark and Pat and Lars, well, ended here. Haven't seen too much of Lars so far. The forward line, the forward line in Kaline, the machine going very well. They lead four points to one. I make it 14 minutes gone in the first half. As Trim, as Kit O'Donnell, Kit and the All Red. Great puck out from Kit, long serving Kit. Uh, Michael Ryan, well held by, well held by uh, John Andrews. John, John uh, in, but out comes uh, Eddie Ayers. Camilla Spork, Camilla Spork loses. Billy Dixon, football style for Billy. In towards the centre of the field, uh, towards the John Anders. John Anders has moved outfield. On his right, he's got uh, CJ Morta. CJ Morta back in, in front of his Martin Dempsey, looking for the pass. Martin's looking for the pass. A free in. Free in. A free in to Trim. Uh, out to take it now is. Ewan McCaffrey, Ewan and very reliable from the freeze to narrow the gap to trade by four points to one. This looks good from here. It is and it's gone. It's gone over the bar now. His first point of the game. 